Right, we're now going to have a look at some tutorials. More tutorials, finally, you'll probably be saying. Sorry I've been away for so long. It's been hectic at work, at college, so um, really, this is the first real opportunity now that college has broke up and I don't actually have to work as much that I'll be able to do some tutorials for you. So basically, what we're going to cover is Delphi. I've looked, it seems to be the most popular, most people want to see Delphi, so that's what we're going to have a look at. In some of the tutorials I did earlier, I remember saying that I wouldn't really cover the basics, but I've really realised that I, I need to. So we're going to start from scratch. Say you've got no programming knowledge, you will be able to program in Delphi by the end of how many tutorials it ever takes me to produce. Talking of that, we're going to actually not use Delphi as such. We're going to use Turbo Delphi. It's pretty much the same thing. The layout is slightly different. There is a big plus, however. It's free. Yes, free. The Turbo editions of, of the software, because uh, Bolan do Turbo C, Turbo C Sharp, Turbo Delphi, Turbo C++, and a few others. They're for educational purposes, so they're free. But basically, they're just the whole same package. You can pretty much do anything you can in one and in the other. So, if you go to Google, I can't really show you this because unfortunately I haven't got an internet connection at this moment in time. It's been disconnected temporarily. Um, so, if you go to google.com, you will be able to type in Turbo Delphi and go to the first link and you'll find it. Also, you will need to register it and you will find the links on there to register it on the Turbo Delphi website. So, go to Turbo Del uh, find Turbo Delphi, download it install it. Now after you've installed it, you'll need to register it. So you go to the turbo, you find the registration link and they will send you an email with an attachment. This attachment will have a, uh, it will be a text document and it will be reg7838, well it will be a file like this here. And then it will tell you to do something like sticking it in your home directory. And if you don't know what your home directory is, that's what I'm going to show you. I'll just load up um, documents and settings and then if you go to Matt which is my folder of course you'll go to your own usernames folder and then you go to reg um, sorry and then when you hit the actual name of your folder just paste it directly in as I have done reg 783 then when you click on Turbo Delphi it will load up something like this of course my computer's slow and it takes a while 35,997 3, days remaining on license. Many, many, many years. Several um, hundred, actually. Yes, about a hundred years, so you're not really going to run out of license time. We're on offline mode, as you can see, because I'm not connected. When you load up Turbo Delphi, this is what it will look like for the first time. Nice and simple. <laughs> only kidding when I first looked at this I thought oh dear um, basically we have this nice welcome page which is sp sl slapped in the middle of the page as a readme install as you can see all this documentation heck of a lot of documentation is even, even as resources down here so you can go directly link to the website if you're actually online and then you can actually have a look at some tutorials or basic stuff on how to get started but that's what we're going to have a look at so I'm just gonna briefly go over the GUI and put you at ease by showing you how easy it is actually to create a tutorial. So, you will see many windows in front of you. One is Structure, Object Inspector, Tool Palette, Project Manager. Don't worry about any of those at all. For example, the Tool Palette, that's um, quite simple. Just You can just drag stuff in quite easy, we're not really going to use it that much. Project Manager, Structure and Object Inspector. Object Inspector we use a lot when it comes to making G nice GUIs or GUI systems. However, to start you off we're going to have a look at the coding aspect of Turbo Delphi and gradually you will start learning how to use all the things you see on here. So firstly we have, um, we have new and open. New items, open items. We'll click on new. Good start. And then you'll see Delphi for net, you've got other files, units, web documents, new files, all sorts. We go on Delphi for net properties, click on the console application, click OK. And it will load up something like this. Right, to explain, firstly, we have this line program. Hmm. This is dead simple, this. 
it's called project one I'm gonna call this first project second we have this other line don't worry about that I'm not gonna explain that just yet then we have users users basically very briefly this is gonna call up another library of files just don't really worry about that yet because we're not gonna really go into it um, and you don't need to know anything about that because we're not really going to be using that. That's just stuck in there. Then we have begin and end. Now, for now, uh, this will change in the future. For now, your whole coding goes in the begin and end, except for declaring variables, and I will explain that later. You'll find exceptions to this rules as we go on, but we're going to start from the basics. It has to go in between a begin and end, right? Then you will see this that says todo, o user. O console insert code here don't worry about that we can delete that that's basically something called annotation now annotation is our way of writing English in a program and the, the actual program we're writing it in like in this case Delphi ignores it because it, it realizes it's not actually programming the purpose behind it is to explain things to us so for example we're gonna go up here we're going to do an open square bracket and go this is our first program like so and then we're going to go on the next line and we're going to go created by the Riddler or in your case whoever you created it and then the date we started and I'm not sure of the date my brain shot the 20th of March 2008 March 2008 and then we end like so and that's basically your bit of licensing on who created this file and the date. Good idea to do it in case you create a project and then somebody nicks it and you've got the date saying that when you first created it. Of course you need other verifications but it's a good start. So our basic program, we're going to do the classic hello world. It's a bit cheesy yes but that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to use a command called write. That's all we're going to use. We're going to have to use a command to pause the screen later on but I'll show you right open bracket we want a single quotation mark or a speech mark and then we're going to go hello world end that quotation mark end the bra kill curved bracket put a semicolon on the end now we're going to run as you can see the shortcut is F9 I'm not going to use any shortcuts in this tutorial but later on I'll use shortcuts now did you if you notice that program opened up said hello world very quickly and then shut down we need to stop it from shutting down so we're going to use read ln and we put another semicolon on the end that command read ln will actually pause the screen for you so I'm just going to type in pause is the screen and then on this one this is a bit of annotation just to get used to it write hello world on the screen now there's no point in annotating on a program so small as this because it's quite obvious what it does but I'm just getting used to annotating because if you have a very long piece of code and you don't annotate it will be a nightmare to debug and also if anybody else, if you're working in a team for example you really need to annotate so when other people look at your code they know what to do instead of having to learn it follow every single line methodically trying to understand what your program does because you will know but they won't guaranteed now we stuck this read line on the end and if we click run oh look it says hello world and it's paused so we've got the, as you can see the cursor is just here but basically the program says hello world we press enter and it goes back to programming and that's the basics of a hello world program and I hope you start in I hope you like the way I'm doing these tutorials just one or two things I'm not rehearsing these I don't really have the time to rehearse them. These are going to be done on the fly because I'm very pushed for time and I know there's a lot of people wanting tutorials and this way you can get the tutorials quickly and you can learn. If, you, if there is a few mistakes in the tutorials it's because I haven't practiced them and if this is a problem for you and you prefer me to rehearse them several times and therefore you, there'd be a better quality but you'd get less of them post on the forums and I'll do that but I assume that you'll want the tutorials to be coming out as quick as you can so you can learn as quick as you can and really that's all there is for this tutorial I'll see you next time